Keywords in addition and subtraction word problems. Keywords are like clues that help us decide how to solve a word problem. Certain words might hint that you need to add or subtract. However, be careful with keywords. You still need to read the problem carefully and think about what is happening to figure out how to solve it. Don't rely on keywords alone. Here are some words that might suggest you need to add or subtract. Some addition keywords are in all, total, all together, combined, both, and some. Some subtraction keywords are left, how many more, remain, fewer, less, and difference. Let's take a look at a word problem and try to use keywords to help us decide if we should add or subtract. The problem says, John had 45 marbles in his collection. For his birthday, he got 12 more marbles. What is the total number of marbles in John's collection? Here, I see the word total. Total usually means that we need to add. So if I think about what this problem is asking, it's asking me to add the 45 marbles that he already had together with the 12 new marbles to find the total. Total is usually an addition word. Let's look at another. There were 345 students in the cafeteria. After lunch, 277 students went back to class. How many students remain in the cafeteria? Here we have the word remain. Remain is a subtraction keyword, and if I think about what's happening in this problem, I have some students and some of them leave the cafeteria. I'm losing students, I'm taking away students, so it makes sense that I would need to subtract here. Remain is usually a subtraction word. Thomas had 100 books for sale at his yard sale. The first customer bought 45 books. How many books are left? Here I see the word left, and left is usually a subtraction word, just like remain. I had some books, some of the books were taken away, and now I need to know what's left. That's a subtraction problem. Left is usually a subtraction word. Sarah has 15 teddy bears. Jane has 25 teddy bears. How many teddy bears do they have in all? In all usually means to add. It means to put Sarah's teddy bears and Jane's teddy bears together to find out how many total teddy bears there are in all. In all is usually an addition keyword. Jerry wants to walk 30 miles today. By lunchtime, he's already walked 17 miles. How many more miles does Jerry need to walk to reach his goal? Here we have the words, how many more? How many more usually means we need to subtract. We know the total number of miles and we know how many he's already walked. So if we find the difference between those two numbers by subtracting, we can find out how many more miles he needs to walk. How many more is subtraction. Darian wrote 26 letters to his friend Mitch. Mitch wrote 19 letters to Darian. How many letters did they write combined? The word combined means to put things together. When we're putting things together, we are adding. Combined is usually an addition word. There are 1,392 ants in Helen's kitchen. After the exterminator leaves, there are 987 less ants in the kitchen. How many ants are in Helen's kitchen now? Here we have the word less which usually means to subtract. And if we think about what's happening here, we have a bunch of ants, and then we get rid of a bunch of ants. We're taking ants out of Helen's kitchen. So that suggests that we need to subtract. Bob has 25 minutes of silent lunch. Tim has 15 minutes of silent lunch. How many fewer minutes does Tim have than Bob? The word fewer 
suggests that we need to subtract to find the difference between how long Bob has to spend in silent lunch and how long Tim has to spend in silent lunch. Fewer usually means to subtract. Jenna has 24 erasers in her pencil box. Sam has 13 erasers in his pencil box. How many erasers do they have all together? The word all together usually means to add. Just like the word combined, it means to put things together, which is what addition is. All together is an addition word. Jim scored 73,294 points in his video game. Seth scored 12,194 points. What is the sum of their points? Sum pretty much always means to add. That's what you call the answer to an addition problem, a sum. Kelly walked six dogs at the animal shelter. Lisa walked nine dogs at the animal shelter. How many dogs did they both walk? When we see the word both, it tells us that we need to put the number of dogs Kelly walked together with the number of walks dogs Lisa walked. Both is an addition problem. Mount Everest is 29,029 feet tall. Mount Kilimanjaro is 19,341 feet tall. What is the difference in height of the two mountains? Difference means subtract. A difference is what you call the answer to a subtraction problem. But remember, we need to be careful when we're using keywords. It can be helpful, but we also have to make sure we're thinking about what the problem is asking. Sometimes test writers include trick keywords like these. Take a look at this problem. 457 birds were resting in a tree. Then, 243 birds flew away. What was the total number of birds still in the tree? Well, here I have the word total. Now, total is an addition word, but is this an addition problem? Always think carefully about what the problem is asking. If I really think about what's happening in this problem, I have some birds in a tree and then some of them fly away. They actually leave the tree and I'm trying to figure out how many birds are left. That's not an addition problem at all. This is a subtraction problem because we're taking birds away. So the word total is a trick keyword in this problem. Here's another. Ben had 24 trading cards in his hand and 32 in his left pocket. How many trading cards does Ben have? I see the word left, and left is a subtraction word, but is this a subtraction problem? Once again, we have to think carefully about what the problem is asking. He has some cards in his hand and some cards in his pocket. Here, this is a different type of left entirely. This doesn't mean left like remain or what's left over. It means left like the opposite of right. So we can't just look at the word left and say subtraction. We actually need to add here. We need to put the number of cards in his hand together with the number of cards in his pocket to figure out how many cards he has. This is a trick key word. So always be careful with keywords. Don't just find the key word and use that alone to decide whether you should add or subtract. Also read the problem carefully and think about what's happening and use that to help you decide if it makes sense to add or if it makes sense to subtract. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.